Hi, dear colleagues. Let's consider a report on the topic about the methodology to improve concept of maximum security of nuclear facility at minimum cost. One of the key factors determining the independence of the state is its ability to ensure security and protection of critical infrastructure objects from terrorist influence. Traditionally, its solution is carried out using the concept of deep echelon protection. This concept is reduced to security due to the creation of system of protection from physical barriers. They are built according to the principle of preventing all possible catastrophic events and, in the case of their occurrence, minimizing possible consequences. However, the modern protection methodology doesn't allow optimal security management, as it is associated with methodological limitations of the concept of deeply echeloned protection. Let's assume the occurrence of unlikely event on the example of earthquake. The periodicity of earthquake is assumed to be equal to 10 in 6 power years. Uh, for instance, service life for nuclear power plants is approximately 60 or 80 years. From the point of view of safety management, it is impossible to assert a 100% occurrence of earthquake, earthquake event. In other words, from the point of view of optimal management, such events should be considered as statistically unlikely in relation to the case of accident at potentially dangerous facility. So, consequence of the methodological error of postulating the probability of severe accident is the transfer of hypothetically possible accidents to the category of statistically irregular and therefore theoretically inevitable. The essence of the concept of optimal security management of protected nuclear strategic facility is to ensure maximum security of the nuclear facility at minimum cost. As it's shown in Figure 1, the abscissa axis shows the risk value R, which determines the probability of catastrophic event. Accordingly, it is measured as fractional number or as a percentage and cannot exceed a maximum value equal to 1 or 100%. The value indicator C calculated in grievance or in conventional units, usually in thousands or millions of value units. They are plotted along the ordinate axis. The first curve is the cost of preventing hypothetical catastrophic event. The higher cost leads to the lower risk of catastrophic event and vice versa. The second curve is the cost of eliminating consequences of hypothetical catastrophic event. In some cases, this technology is called insurance cost. Here, the higher risk leads to higher costs. The third curve shows the total cost of both technologies. The situation determined by the point of intersection of the first and second curves is a situation of optimal security management of the protected nuclear facility. Under this situation, the optimal value of the risk of occurrence of hypothetical catastrophic event requires minimal costs. It is insured. Concept of optimal management of protected critical infrastructure object using Pampuro method provides following five provisions. The first provision is a selection of protected object. This object can be any object of the state's critical infrastructure, beginning from the city gas distribution station and ending by the nuclear power plant. The second provision is determination of the means of ensuring the security of the object and the tasks solved by it. The security of protected strategic object is assessed by the risk of any catastrophic event. The general or, or total costs spent to ensure the safety of protected object consist of three components. See Formula 1. The first is the cost of preventing catastrophic event. The second one is the cost of liquidating consequences in the case of this catastrophic event. The third, last one, is means of elimination con consequences in the case of danger. The third provision is application of Pampuro method. Pampuro method allows us to consider a technological object from the standpoint of insurance security as an abstract hypothetical object. Its structure consists of some elements. This allows a single protected critical infrastructure object to be considered as a quadripole. The fourth provision is the definition of research goals of the abstract quadripole based on the mathematical material presented above, the following research goals of abstract quadripole can be proposed. The first goal of the study is to find frequency characteristics 
of abstract quadripole. It will show how useful information is transferred with the given parameters of the input information flow and information noise entering the input input of the abstract quadripole. This characteristic is primarily determined by the number of all means of ensuring safety of protected object. Secondly, it should minimize the mean square error during the operation of abstract quadripole. Let's consider the developed mathematical apparatus for different intensities of terrorist influence in nuclear facility. For example, firstly, let's consider the situation when the intensity of terrorist influence on nuclear facility is growing according to exponential law during a limited period of time. In this case, the input of the abstract quadripole is influenced by the additive information flow consisting of useful information and information noise. See formula 3. So it is necessary to find complex frequency characteristic of abstract quadripole, which minimizes the mean square of the error when the intensity of the input information flow increases according to the exponential law during a limited period of time. Its maximum will be determined by its intensity of influence A and its duration, see formula 6. Let's consider another case when the intensity of terrorist influence on nuclear facility is maximum and is persisted for a limited period of time. For this, based on expression 11, the case S is an information flow and useful information, statistically independent of N, which at a moment T1, during limited period of time Tv, will have a maximum until the moment T2, as shown in figure 3. The final form of the frequency characteristic of abstract quadripole under the maximum influence of information flow during a limited period of time is described by the formula 12. Its maximum will be determined by the intensity of, of exposure to A and its duration. See formula 13. The square error in the operation of abstract quadripole will be equal to formula 14. As a result, we get the frequency characteristic of abstract quadripole under the influence of information flow. Its maximum intensity is maintained for a limited period of time under conditions of wide information noise. Conclusions. At present time, security methods developed on the basis of the concept of deeply echeloned protection do not provide optimal security management of strategic objects. It doesn't ensure maximum security at minimum costs. Practical implementation requires the development of specialized mathematical apparatus as a priority, which is applied both to large-scale, for example, nuclear power plant, and to individual scale, such as a research reactor, for example. One of the areas of implementation of optimal security management is the use of the Pampuro method. It provides five main provisions, which we have considered on the slides before. The software implementation of the developed mathematical apparatus can be used as a unified software product by security services or physical protection services of various protected objects. Thanks for your attention.